Chem Cam, the now famous rock sapping laser developed at Los Alamos National Laboratory, is sharing the spotlight with another Los Alamos developed science tool aboard the Mars Curiosity rover, Chemin, the chemistry and mineralogy instrument. Chemin is a X-ray diffraction instrument. And what that means is that it uses an X-ray beam and looks at the scattering of that beam as it goes through a crystal structure to reproduce the atomic distribution in the, in, in the mineral. In late October 2012, the rover used a scoop to gather its first samples. It then vibrated and sifted the material into two particle sizes. A portion of the smaller particles was delivered to Kemen. An X-ray beam was then fired at the material. Some of the X-rays exit the sample at the angles determined by the material's crystalline form, producing a pattern that represents its atomic structure. One of the minerals we expect to find is um, uh, clay, clay minerals. And this is a structure. It's a structure model of a clay mineral. It shows how atoms are arranged, are, are arranged in these different, uh, very set positions to define a crystal structure. And X-ray diffraction, which is the method that Kimmen uses, gives you information about the positions of all of these atoms. You can take the diffraction pattern that comes from Kimmen, and from that build a model like this. And one of the things we look for are sediments, uh, evidence of you know, an, an aqueous system, a water-bearing system that could have supported life. Uh, one of the consequences of that kind of a system is you, you develop minerals that go along with water, like clay minerals. The very first Kemen diffraction pattern from Mars revealed the presence of the minerals feldspar, two different pyroxenes, and olivine mixed with non-crystalline material. These minerals indicate a mixture very similar to volcanic soils in Hawaii. These early findings result from a long-term collaboration between Los Alamos and the NASA Ames Research Center. We started working on this idea of a uh, X-ray diffraction instrument for a rover about 20 years ago. At the same time, there was another fellow at NASA Ames, his name is David Blake, who had an entirely different concept based on using a CCD, a, ch a charge coupled device, just like you know your, your video camera. We saw his work about a year after we first presented ours, realized he had a much better idea. And so we've been working with Dave Blake for, at NASA Ames for over 20 years. It's been a really good collaboration. And you know, that's, that's one of the things that I think Los Alamos is, is really good at, and that is bringing people in. Whether it's within the lab, within divisions, across divisions, or even external organizations. Without that, I don't think this instrument would have ever been built. For Los Alamos National Laboratory on YouTube, I'm Kevin Rourke.